Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for TGN Technology and the Smoke and Android. My name is Jared, and today we're going to be taking a look at Smart Stay X, which is basically inspired by the Smart Stay uh, feature on the Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, which is actually you know, stock, stock on the Samsung Galaxy S3. And for those of you that don't know um, what Smart Stay on the Galaxy S3 is, it's basically that cool little feature. Whereas you know you can see in the top uh, left-hand corner there, the little icon I've got going on there. Um, basically, it uses your front-facing camera to detect your eyes, and uh, you know the as long as you're looking at your screen, it will continue to keep the screen on and keep uh, prevent it from dimming. And obviously, if you look away, then it'll go ahead and shut off the screen for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into the application. And uh, this is the light version. As you can see, um, you know, you can toggle it on and off. So it's not, you know, it's it's not like a download and it's on all the time type of thing. So if you did want to uh, remove it, you can do so. Um, so anyways, going through some of the uh, very simple settings here, you've got shutter off. Now, I'm not really too sure what the shutter off sound is. Um, if this somehow turns off the shutter on your camera, I'm not really too sure. Um, but now what's cool is the low light support. Now keeping in mind this is the light version. So in the pro version, pro version being a dollar five, which is really, really cheap for a pretty useful app like this, um, you know, low light support, that's pretty cool. I'm not really too sure how well that will um, stand up to low light situations, but um, definitely an option for you. And at a dollar five, you know, you don't really have a whole lot to lose other than a dollar and five. Um, polling time. Polling time is basically the time that it takes for it to um, scan for your eyes, and then if it sees that your eyes, uh, if it can't detect your eyes, for instance, you're looking away, your eyes are closed, then um, the timeout will be 15 seconds. Now, obviously, you can change this. Now, I am using a CyanogenMod 10 Jelly Bean on my Galaxy S3 here, so there are some differences. Um, for those of you out there that have different phones, yours will probably look a little bit different, but anyways, I mean, obviously, I can put it all the way up to 10 minutes. If I wanted to put it to 30 seconds, we'll go ahead and get back there, and you'll notice that the timeout's actually changed to 30 30 seconds and the polling time has it changed to 15 seconds. Um, but for the demonstration purposes of this particular video, we're going to go ahead and change it back down to 15 seconds. That way you guys aren't waiting forever for it to uh, either shut off the screen or be able to tell if it's actually doing its job. Um, enable exception list. I'm assuming that's depending on certain situations. You can enable or disable um, the abilities. Uh, exception list. So enable exception list and then there's your exception list right there. Again, both only available in the pro version. Um, notification. I'm really not too sure what that is. Um, I'm not sure if maybe they're talking about the little icon or not, but um, that's that. Uh, debugging and view log pic. So obviously if it stops working on you, it'll actually take a picture of you, save it on your SD card and SD card slash smart stay. And here you can look at the different um, logs and fire them off to the developer for bug fixing and so on. And then of course there's what's new email the developer and blah, 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 right? Frequently asked questions, something you might want to check out. So let's go ahead and back out here. Now, as you can see, the smart state is on right now and active. And for some reason, I noticed that the camera's a bit out of focus there. There we go. Um, so we'll go ahead, and I don't know if it's going to be able to pick me up just because I am behind the camera right now at a bit of a distance behind. You know, you got the, I got the microphone and the camera blocking my vision of it. But um, we'll go ahead and give this a try. So I'm just staring at it right now, kind of tilting it off to where I am. And um, we have it set to eight seconds polling. So um, it, if, if it doesn't turn off in eight seconds, that means it's actually detecting my eyes are open and looking at the screen from this distance, which is about a foot, maybe a foot and a half maximum away from my face right now. And it looks like it is picking my eyes up, uh, doing a pretty good job of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just face it away momentarily. And we'll see if it um, it should the the little eye icon there should kind of look like a closing eye if it's not picking up on me. So we're still waiting for it to pull and uh, detect whether or not my eyes are there. Now I do have there we go. It just kicked in there. So that was about eight seconds. It's not detecting my eyes. And then um, at 15 seconds, it should actually just turn off the screen. Oh, it looks like it's picking up my eyes again. So I don't really know if maybe it's the bright lights that are causing. Um, it to do that, but okay, so here we go again. I kind of had it face to my face or, or looking at my face a little bit a little bit more before So we'll go ahead and keep it on that side there and it should there it goes. So there you go uh, it Works pretty good and I was actually really surprised with um, how well it was performing there because I mean I'm behind the camera and I was actually at you know a bit of a 20 degree angle from it there and it was actually still picking up my eyes so obviously the viewing aspect ratio is that that's not the right wording the viewing angles or um, 
peripherals of the camera there is actually still able to pick up my my eyes even though it was tilted a little bit to the left there so very cool stuff there this is the light version so obviously that means it's free for you to go check out in the play store um, i will have a link in the description the developer does recommend you play with the light version first and if you do like it go ahead and pay for that paid version there which is only a dollar five now there are like I'm, um, i haven't actually mentioned yet but there are three versions on the market right now so you've got the 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 light version which is what we're rocking right now um, obviously it's called smart stay X. There's the pro version, which is, um, uh, well, it's, it's still called Smart Stay X, but it's $1.05. And then there's another one called Smart Stay X Pro. And that one is $2.45 Canadian. Now, I, I was reading through some of the comments, and it actually looks like I chose the right one here because the Smart Stay X Pro at $2.50 basically um, doesn't seem to handle as well and perform as well. It's not as stable for um, you know a majority of devices. Whereas this one seems to have a lot of really good user feedback. It seems to be working fantastic. Uh, I've read a couple of comments that the other one wasn't working very well on Jelly Bean ports or even the Nexus uh, 7 or you know the Google Nexus uh, with the Jelly Bean you know version on top of it um but this is Jelly Bean right here, and as you can see, it's working just fantastic. It's still picking up, uh, uh, detecting my eyes from behind the camera. So very, very impressive stuff there. Um, I definitely recommend you checking this out. This this was, um, honestly, this feature here was one of the features that actually prevented me from loading a custom ROM onto my device just because it was such a handy feature. Uh, anyways, guys, so this is now available for all Android devices. It should work on gingerbread, ice cream sandwich, and obviously Jelly Bean. Uh, so like I said, I'll have a link in the description below. Maybe Make sure you head on over there and download it. And uh, if you like this video and you found it useful, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to, you might want to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Anyways, guys, for TGN Technology and the Smoking Android, this has been Jared. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you guys in the next video.